What's up guys, Peter here back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about boosting, top reps boosting, and especially Orlando and Chicago, the first legend boosting. So, you guys know he did post a video uh, a couple days ago saying that he did not boost, and people still think he was boosting if you look at his comment section. Now, you guys also know that I posted a video a few months ago uh, from him asking his crew members to boost him games, and he said that those were fake, and there's also a lot of other things he said in that video that might prove that he was boosting, so make sure you guys smash that like button down below, see if we can hit 500 likes, and if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more daily NBA 2K17 content. I want to do a kind of a poll before this video starts, so you guys know there was kind of two people going for the first legend or the highest rep, he had Nade or Orlando, so let me know, are you guys team Nade or team Orlando in the comments? But yeah, anyway, being a top rep has become a bigger deal over the years because people have seen how much exposure or quote unquote clout that you get. For example, Nade, he was at like 20 something K at the beginning of 2K17. He's getting close to 200K now. So he's getting really close. And uh, even Orlando, he grew a lot too on YouTube. So like a lot of people seeing what you get for being like the top rep, which means a lot more people are gonna try to get it, which means that you have to play a lot more games to become the top rep, which also means that people are gonna do a lot of different things to make sure that they're top rep, uh, such as boosting. Now, a couple things before I get into this video. First, uh, boosting, when I refer to that in this video, I don't mean people playing in your account because I guess that's not considered boosting. If it really was, then McGurk would have definitely been banned right now. And also, I mean, people do it on other games all the time, a lot more openly. For example, Call of Duty, they have teams going for like first master prestige, first level 1000, and Activision, who's like the company that makes all the Call of Duties, they like congratulate them. Like they don't consider that boosting. They just think, oh, that's kind of cool how everybody can do that. So first, like just think of that. That's not what boosting is. But uh, also, I'm not trying to get Orlando banned or anything. I mean, it's kind of too late. He's already first legend. So I mean, I'm just, I just want to show you guys that what he said in that video, a lot of it uh, might not be true, and it could have proved something like uh, something that I exposed before. So basically, he said a couple of things. First, he said that it's really easy to get caught boosting, and if he really did boost that much, then he would have been caught. Now, first of all, there's a lot of you, like there's a lot of YouTube videos of him supposedly getting caught, and we already talked about how like 2K is not gonna ban him because he's on PS4 and like they ban Nate and stuff like that. But uh, that's another video. But basically, first of all, he's kind of already been quote unquote exposed. He was just never banned for that, so he never got big. Second of all, it's really not that easy to catch somebody boosting. And I don't know how you got. I don't know if you guys know how boosting works, but I definitely know. Basically, you have two sort of quote unquote plugs on each uh, console. So I actually know the plug on Xbox, and no, I do not boost. I'm like an All Star three. Uh, I don't care about rep like that. But uh, basically. How it works is that this quote unquote plug lives in a certain part of the world where he will always get into an empty park. So, uh, since he always gets into empty parks, that means nobody's just gonna load into a server. Uh, for example, the person on Xbox lives in the Middle East. So, uh, every time he loads into a park, it's always an empty server because uh, basically that's just how it works. There's nobody else there playing on the server. Whatever server he's on, uh, it's always gonna be empty. So nobody's just gonna load into that park, right? Unless they join specifically like off him, right? So that plug will basically go into an empty park to uh, allow whoever the top rep is and like some other people boosting for him and who he's playing with to load in with him. Then they'll all appear offline. The plug will leave the park. And from then on, you can't really catch them because uh, there's nobody really loading into that park. And second of all, they're all appearing offline, so you can't join off their name. So how are you going to get into that park? For example, us on the East Coast, like, for example, we're not going to just load into, a like, a Middle Eastern server halfway around the world. That's just not how it works. You're going to default load into a server close to you because 2K wants you to be able to play without this huge delay, right? So it's actually really hard to catch somebody boosting like that because they're not going to just by random load into a park with somebody boosting like that. Some people actually end up doing that. I don't know how they get lucky, but... Uh, some people have uh, people like the plug quote unquote will turn on them and they'll have they'll like allow other people to catch them but uh, yeah it's really not that easy to catch somebody boosting so that's the first thing and you also have to keep in mind that 
Orlando didn't stream like that. He did stream like sometimes, but not compared to Nade, who was pretty much always streaming while he was playing. So we don't exactly know what he was doing while he wasn't streaming. Now, I'm not saying he boosted all his games or anything. I'm just saying that what he said about boosting being really easy to catch somebody, it's really not that easy. And like I said, he wasn't streaming as much as Nade. Now, second of all, last year, he actually uploaded a private park method, or private, like private park glitch or empty park glitch. And why would you want to get into an empty park? obviously to boost and if you did that last year and i think hank found this on his channel uh from last year why wouldn't he do it this year you can see it on screen right now he did upload it last year and like why would you get into an empty park obviously to boost and if he's like that last year he actually posted a video to help other people boost why wouldn't he be like that this year so that's another thing that nobody really mentioned but somebody did find out about him saying he wasn't boosting and he just they why would you post that last year now this is the last part that's really really could be exposing him and you guys know last year i posted well not last well technically last year but a few months ago i posted a video talking about orlando and i like there's leaked screenshots of his clan members and basically he was asking his clan members to throw him games right and that really came out a lot of people were saying oh my gosh like orlando's boosting and he addressed it in his video saying those screenshots were BS. Now, the way I can prove this is Orlando is not from what his actual kick is because that would have to be leaking it. But what he said in his video was that the way he found out how many games he had to play a day was by going on the 2K app, looking at the leaderboards, and seeing how far Nade was ahead of him or how far he was ahead of Nade. That's exactly what he's doing in these screenshots. He's saying, I'm ahead of Nade by two games, and you guys have to throw me games. That's where we got the boosting part. But he's doing what exactly what he said in the video he was doing to make sure he was top rep. So he basically exposed himself proving that that was him. No, I did not make these screenshots after he posted that video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the video where I did leak those screenshots. And basically from then on, you can see that these screenshots are old and he kind of just proved that it was him talking in those screenshots. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think Orlando did boost in the comment section. And again, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.